Hello, and welcome to the Tri-State Denver Buddhist Temple. Today we are celebrating the 2020 Hoonko service. Hoonko is a celebration of the life and the memorial of the founder of this school of Buddhism, Shinran Shonen. This is a very special for, service for us, uh, Jodo Shinshu Buddhists. We'll be doing a couple things today that are outside of the norm. First, we'll be chanting Sanbu Jo. During the chanting of Sanbu Jo, you will see names scroll across the bottom of the screen. These are people who wish, we wish to issue our deepest gratitude and thanks in their support of the temple. We will then be chanting a special version of the Shoshinge. We will ha be having a reading of the Godensho, a, the recounting of the life of our founder, Shinran Shonen, in both Japanese and in English. We will then have talks in both English and in Japanese. On behalf of the ministers, staff, and Sangha of the Tri-State Denver Buddhist Temple, we welcome you. And please enjoy our Hongko service. Gasho Namo Amida Boots, 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 Namo Sun. Mm -hmm. 
ナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナ
南无南无阿弥南无南无阿弥南无南无阿弥南无南无。
もあみだんぶなこうんむげにょうこく
ミダブナモミダブナモミダブナモミダブナモミダブナモミダブナモミダブナモミダブナモミダブナモミダブナモミダブゴデンショ、which is the honorary biography of Shinran Shonin, which is read in honor of his memorial service. I will read it first in the Japanese and then the English translation. それ、よにのぞくしょうは、ふじわなうじ。あり。で使えてそうせともいただき、やさんにはしてえがおもひらくめかにしとなれどもこぼのいんちに膝しんりしょのえんほかにもよししによってくさいのはるのころみんぽとってじょうしたまいきはんねんしょなおんのきみとこす。それよりこのかたしばしば、なんがくてんだいのげんぽをとぶらって、いろくさんがんぶんじょのりをたし、とこしないにりょうごんにょがわのよりゅをたたえて、うかくしきょうえんにゅのぎにあきらかなりただぶっとのふかきこと
Svoto naši. Vši mi zuno kitano otori. I kumto hori watashi te bukaku otate ezo anzu. Kono toki ni atate で、承認、祖前の主義を、いよ、こじ。ゆいくん、ますます、時間、なること。こむろ、在世の昔に、超えたい。すべて文様、国軍に十万死。本流少々に変法して、幾千万ということを知らず。その本業を重んじて、可能者を抜きんずる、友が、年々、病棟に、ケース、およそ勝負、最初の間、既読これを知っといえとも、Shinran Shonin was born on May 21st in the year 1173. At the age of four, his father died, and at the age of eight, his beloved mother also left this world. When he was nine years old, he was taken by his uncle to the Shorenin Temple, where he was tonsured by the Venerable Jian. At the age of 19, after 10 years of intense study and difficult practice, Shinran made a pilgrimage to the Shinaga Mausoleum of Prince Shotoku, and while there, he had a dream vision in which the prince came to him and told him that his current life would last for only another 10 years. Nearing the end of this 10 year period, Shinran confined himself at Dokakudo Temple, a site for worship of the Bodhisattva Kanon, for 100 days. Here he received another dream vision in which Kanon, the Bodhisattva of Compassion, told him that if he was unable to perform the rigid practices of the monastics, he should set out and seek a new path. It was after this that Shinran sought out Honen Shonin. Shinran journeyed to Yoshimizu and visited Honen every day for 100 days. Honen taught him that the Nembutsu alone was the cause for release from the suffering of birth and death. Shinran became a disciple of Honen's and at the age of 33 was given the great honor of being allowed to copy Honen's great work, the Senjaku Hongan Nembutsu. When he was 35, Nembutsu practice was banned and Shinran was exiled to Echigo. Honen was exiled to Tosa. It would be the last time that teacher and student would meet again in this world. At the age of 38, he married Lady Eshini, whose letters have been a marvelous window for us these days into the life of Shinran. 
At age 39, Shinran was pardoned, and three years later, he moved to Hitachi in the Kanto area, where he continued to propagate the Nembutsu teaching. At the age of 52, his youngest daughter, Kakushini, was born, and this was also the year that he wrote his magnum opus, the Kyogyo Shinsho. At the age of 90, about the end of winter, he began to feel ill. From that time on, he never spoke of worldly matters. He expressed his deep appreciation of the Buddha's benevolence by ceaselessly reciting the Nembutsu. He never spoke of anything else, only recited Nembutsu. On the eighth day of the same year and month, he lay on his side with his head facing north and his body facing west and breathed his last, still reciting Nembutsu. His daughter Kakushini was in attendance at his death and was concerned that because there had been no miraculous sights at the moment of Shinran's death, he had not gone to the Pure Land. Her mother wrote to assure her, saying, there is no doubt that your father was born in the Pure Land, and there is no need for me to repeat this. Namo Amida Boots. Namo Amida Boots. Namo Amida Boots. Welcome to the 2020 Tri-State Denver Buddhist Temple Huanko Service. Please join me in Gasho for a reading from the Tani Show. It is utterly unreasonable for those who are devoted solely to the Nembutsu to quarrel, saying, these are my disciples, or those are other disciples. I, Shinran, do not have even one disciple of my own. The reason is, if I should lead others to utter the Nembutsu by my own efforts, I might call them my disciples. But this is truly ridiculous to call them my disciples when they utter the Nembutsu through the working of Amida Buddha. If there are conditions which bring us together, then we must meet. If there are conditions which separate us, then we must part. Against this fact, some say that one who turns against his teacher and falls another, um, falls another, utters the num and utters the Nembutsu will not be born in the Pure Land. This is quite absurd. Do they mean they could take back the faith given by Amida Buddha as if it was their own? Again and again, this view is impermissible. When would, uh, when we become in accord with the principle of naturalness, we shall realize that we owe to the Buddha and we feel our gratitude towards our teacher. Thus it was said. Namo Midabuts. Namo Midabuts. Namo Midabuts. Hi. So we're all here today to celebrate Honko, the memorial service for the founder of our school, Shinran Shonen. In two years, we're going to celebrate the 800th anniversary of the founding of Jodo Shinshu Hongan Jiha, our school. And when we think of Shinran, we think of him as our teacher. We call him Shinran-sama. We have deep and utter respect for Shinran. And over the last 800 years, a legend has built up around Shinran because that's what happens when you have a deep respect for someone over such a long period of time. So Shinran, the person, Shinran, the figure which sits within our Jodo Shinshu faith and Shinran, the actual person, may be two very different people, and yet they have the same purpose. As you heard in the Tani show, Shinran saying, I do not have any disciples. I am not anyone's master. Amida Buddha has disciples. Amida Buddha leads one to the Nembutsu. I am just here to share what I know in my faith within Amida Buddha. Now, today, if you look behind me on the Onaijin, 
there's a very large scroll of Shinran Shonen. And if you go to Japan, there's an entire mausoleum around his grave. And this might be something he might have rejected. And so in many ways, we now have two different people that are Shinran Shonen. We have Shinran Shonen the figure and Shinran Shonen the person. But the beautiful thing about both of these people is in the end, they become one in the message. And that message is here on Honko, say the nembutsu, say the namo amidabutsu. That is all Shinran's saying within the Tani Show. Nembutsu alone, not of your own power, not of your own making, not of my power, but of Amida. To fully entrust yourself in the vow, in the utter, unconceivable amount of compassion that is the Nembutsu. And so I think that this is what Shinran would want us to remember on his Memorial Day, which we're celebrating today. So please join me in Gasho and say the lesson in which Shinran always encouraged us to say. Namo Amidabits. Namo Amidabits. Namo Amidabits. Namandabits, 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 Namandabits. Yorai dai hi no onnoku wa miyoko ni shite mo hozu beshi shishu chishiki no onnoku mo one o kudaki te mo shasu beshi namanav 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 namanav皆様、ようこそのお参りでございます。本日は法恩公のお務めでございます。法恩公とは浄土真宗の宗祖である親鸞上人のご命日をご縁に仏法に触れさせていただく日です。法恩というと恩に報いると書いて、恩と読みます。こう聞くと、あ、今日は御恩に感謝する日なんだな、となりますが、ではその恩とは一体何の恩のことなんでしょうか。もしも親鸞上人が今日も生きておられたら、一体何とおっしゃるでしょう
というのも、阿弥陀仏のご恩に報いるというのは、それほど難しいことであるということが言えるからです。この音読さんの身を子にしても、または骨を砕きても、のように厳しい表現から、親鸞承人のどんなことをしたとしても、恩返しなんてとてもできたとは言えません。ただただ、噛み締めることしかできませんという気持ちが現れているように感じます。また、親鸞承人は呼び声が二つあるということに気づいてくださいました。助けてくださいという声と、助けに来たよという声です。親鸞承人は比叡山にて長い間、助けてください、助けてください、助けてくださいと自分から呼び続けました。それでも、届くことはなく、泣く泣く比叡山を降りられました。そして、法然上人は、親鸞上人が、他力の教えに出会うきっかけを作ってくださいました。そして何より、阿弥陀仏は常に、名も阿弥陀仏を届けようとしてくださっています。この中の誰か一人でも欠けていたら、今、今日、私は、お念仏に出会っていないでしょう。私がお念仏に出会うまでに数えきれない大きなご恩があったことを実感します。法恩公は恩に報いると書きますが、恩返しする日というよりは、恩返しできないほどのご恩をいただいている、このことを喜ばせていただく日だと思い、お念仏を申させていただきます。本日は尊いご縁をいただき、誠にありがとうございました。ナモアミダブツ、ナモアミダブツ、ナモアミダブツ、アンマンダブツ、アンマンダブツ、アンマンダブツ。